Hello, welcome back to Football Manager is Ruining My Life. This is our YouTube series. We are doing our Valencia season. We are restoring the fallen giants of world football. And Valencia is our first task. And we're in our second season and we're doing okay. So league table wise, season number two, still in the Champions League. Rather not talk about what happened in the Spanish Cup. Super Cup as well. That was pretty abysmal. But we're pushing for a league title. We're in a title race. We are six points clear of Barcelona. Transfer-wise, we have made our signing, our final signing of the window. We've got this young 17, 18 now year old uh, Barak Ince as an attacking midfielder. Because we've got a new formation we want to try at some point, maybe in this episode. And we need an attacking midfielder. And this guy's got lots of potential. And he was a bargain at 1.5 million. So, schedule-wise... Today's episode, we've got a few games for you. We've got our feature match against Seville. And then we'll show you highlights from the four games after Alves, Ibar, Horatia and Vigo. And then next episode, we have that massive Champions League tie, which I'm buzzing for. So our first game will be Seville away, which we lost last season, 3-2. Uh, we're a much better team than last season. And... I'm expecting three points. If we're serious about winning this title, we need to beat these kind of teams. Um, I hate doing these. I'm aware of what we need. Show me what you've got and then just give me the list. That's what we want. Yeah, Give me the list of players and we'll go for it another time. Attacking centre midfielder. I've just covered that area. Andre Garcia. Progress is good. It's fine. So players like him, we just keep them in the system, keep them in the academy, give them a new contract whenever they want it. And then hopefully we can sell them for about 10 million or plus more as they start to fulfill some of their potential. So season's been really good so far. It's got to keep putting on the pressure on those teams that are chasing us. The Barcelona and Real Madrid haven't been as strong as they were last season, especially Real Madrid, who just, I think they went on a 22 game unbeaten run at the end of last season, which stopped us winning the title. Um, Seville tactics then. Seville will like to set up similar to us, our normal tactic. So we're going to go in and match him, I think, just because our players are better. Well, actually, I might go for five at the back, I think. Yeah, bigger away games, we'll go for five at the back. So we'll play a 3-5-2. So three centre-halves, we'll get the wing-backs bombing on and join every attack that we need, which is good because players like Gaia are just really good at it anyway. So it's all about this tactic works really well for the players that we have, as you know. Um, Gavi on the bench, Lee Kang's not fit yet, Rodriguez, put Cano on there, just as a young centre mid, hopefully if we're in the lead we can give him some more game time, so we're going to go with this lineup. Sergio Gomez in behind, Maxi Gomez and Guedes up front, so we need those two to be firing, if we stand any chance of winning any games this season, Guedes and Gomez, the two attacking players, our two main goal threats, need to be on point, I think next season we may need to look at getting a quality right winger because the left hand side is really strong we've got a lot of youngsters who can play on the wings on the right hand side who've done bits and bobs um lee kang for example but he's been injured all season so it might be worth doing that but then so that we need to strengthen up the defense and look at getting a new goalkeeper in because citizens getting on a bit now so interesting depends how much money we get because they don't tend to back us that well this board so we are a bit cash strapped anyway enough waffling so seville forms a bit hit and miss they are home team. They're always a dangerous team to play against. Our form is a bit hit and miss with a few cup defeats and draws in the league. And So we're looking for a big performance today to keep this title challenge alive and kick in. So four points ahead of Barcelona. I think that's a big game. Every game's a massive game. Every game's a cup final now. So hopefully we get a good start. Sevilla are a strong team. And it looks like they're going at us from the get-go, doesn't it? Or are we going at them? Get a chance for 1-0 early doors. Oof. 30 seconds on the clock. Could have been 1-0 up. Okay, so Oscar. Is that the Oscar? Must be. That is way just astronomical. Okay, so Maxi Gomez really again here. Is that a foul? Well, it is a foul. So hopefully a dangerous ball into the box. Or not. Okay, chance over. <laughs> okay, so Libra out wide. Gaia, ball over the top. Interesting. Okay, so normally a bit more quality of our possession. So here we go again. Just relentless attack after attack. That's what we need. Pop it out wide. Vass into Gomez. Into Vass. In oh. 
it's a promising start. But I am worried, like watching the um, some of the games previously, like the Real Madrid game, we're not taking chances we should be taking. Like that ball across the box early on in the season or last season was going in. Get it's got to be surely. Oh my word, we are wasteful in front of goal at the moment. Get in there. So that was simple. We can't we can't just pass our way through or kill a killer ball. Just take a big throw in from the right hand side. Guedes, man of the moment. Another goal this season. He has been awesome for us. Defenders all over the place. Keepers all over the place. Guedes anticipates the bounce in the box. Attacks it. 1-0 Valencia. And let's try and push on for another. Because looking at the stats, Seville are not in this game at all. At all. So you might have heard a few groans and noises from the dog there in the background. The official Valencia mascot. So Gomez out wide to Vass. Ball in. I mean, come on. Should be about 7 nil up. 7th exaggeration. Should definitely have 2 or 3 by now. But it's promising signs. They're looking, we're looking dangerous going forward. As I was about to say, we're looking pretty solid at the back. But I might be able to eat my words. <sighs> should have done better. Probably should have done better. It's fine. We'll take it. Another big throw in from us. Ah, keeper's got it this time. Okay, so we need to see this attack on the right-hand side. Oh, wow. Look at the bar. What a strike that was. Okay, so see this through the half-time would be nice. So, I want to say we're looking comfortable. I mean, if we had two goals, I'd say we're looking very comfortable. Okay, so tactics and size will probably keep it the same. Not much to change. We're definitely on top. We just, should have, just need to take our chances. That no bad ratings really in the team. The problem we got, like, I don't like to make too many changes whenever I can because we haven't got the strongest bench in the world. So we just need the first 11 to, <laughs> to do what they do and then we can uh, bring on the youngsters. Normally when the game's sealed up. I do think we probably need to get a bit tighter to Rakitic. Out of the way, Here's where, this is where we're good. This is where we're good. Just need that quality. That ball's just missing at the moment. There's something not right. There we go. Chance. Surely, Geddes. <laughs> Keep away, you go. <laughs> Great goal. That man scores again. Goal number 17 of the season. My word. And they keep saying things about him unlikely to get his Portugal caps and stuff like that. I don't know what the keeper's doing there. I mean, I'm glad he did it. But, yeah. Okay, so looking pretty comfortable, guys. Looking pretty cushy. Seville aren't causing us too many problems. We're having the better chances. We definitely deserve to be in front. Next goal is massive, really, I guess. If it could be us, Gomez. Guedes. Gomez again. <laughs> Keep watching that. Just keep respecting to just pull the trigger and put his foot through it and slam it into the top corner. Just see some feeble little shot to the near post. Solid did it in the first half, didn't he? Okay, I need to see these attacks out. See these attacks out. Send it. Solid. Through. Go on. Oh, Gomez. Could have had a hat trick. He's got none. Could have had loads. Bring Vera on there. Nice. Bring him on at the back. Vas for Correa. Perfect. Confirm our substitutes. We should just see this game out now. I'm hoping, anyway, at least. Oh, Gaia. Arezo out wide. Gaia this time. Oh, what? Hey, Saliba. Thank you. Finally. If your centre forward can't score, the young centre forward you brought on can't score, trust your loney centre half. Definitely go try and loan him again. Hopefully get a clause in there where we can purchase it, which they're never going to allow. But 
So Dia Carby's looking pretty tired, but I can't make any more subs. We've already made three. So three 0 away to Seville is an unbelievable result. I know they're not Real Madrid or Barcelona or Atletico Madrid, but they're still a really top respected team in that division. We've definitely booted them out for it as a top four club though. In the second season. Finished second last year, didn't we? We're gonna potentially finish top three again, so Okay, it's a really good result for us. Really good performance. I was happy with that. Um, only thing I would say I'm worried about is the amount of chances that we wasted. But hopefully going forward, we can rectify that. Maxi Gomez was the leading goal scorer in La Liga last season. So hopefully he rekindles that form again because he, he could have had a, like six. So to keep putting a gap between us and Barcelona, just keep doing it. Just next game as it comes, we win it. So we'll have a look through this press conference. I tell him I might have attempted to skip it. Praise Geddes. Geddes has been, been unbelievable for us this season. If he doesn't get player of the season, I don't know. If we didn't have him firing on all cylinders, we would not be top of the league, that's for sure. Uh, Citizens, top quality keeper. He's doing really well. He's kept loads of clean sheets this season. Real Madrid won the league last year. I think Courtois kept... I think only conceded 12 goals in total. So it's really important that we are better at the back. Okay, so schedule-wise, so we'll go through some highlights of the next game very quickly. So we just watched us beat Seville 3-0 in the feature game. So we'll go through the highlights of the next game. In the next episode, we'll go into much and glad back. So Alaves, Iba, Huskia, I don't know how you say the name, and Vigo, Vigo. We will go through the highlights of those games. Um, any second now? So we're going three, two, one. Here we go. Okay, so highlight-wise, so we've got our competitions that we're in. Two of those are out of already. So, comfortable win again. So, we beat Seville 3-0. We then go follow that up with another 3-0 away win. 2-0 away win, sorry. Musaba gets his first goal for us. Which is good. He might be the right wing solution. I don't know. Born to the box. Saliba, two goals in two games. Awesome from him. So, we look at the stats. Another clean sheet for us. So, look, 19 shots, 7 on target. Like, possession. We even have more possession. We never have more possession. Next game, Ivar. Ball across, scores again with Saba. It was interesting because he complained about not getting enough game time to me recently. He just scored two on the back, mate. So, and Gaius throw. Sergi Gomez over the top to Maxi Gomez. What a finish that is, by the way. So, that's the Gomez that we needed. And then uh, Ibar pulled one back with half an hour to go, which made it a bit nerve-wracking. So, it's a good bit of play. Slotted through to Benteke, who slams it past the keeper. I always find when you do the press conference that, oh, your keeper's not conceded in a while, you always concede. And then, yeah, Geddes back out wide. Sola takes it on his left foot. Too much power for the goalkeeper. Top corner. Excellent goal. Another win for Valencia. The title challenge stays strong. And again, yeah, another dominant performance. Again, had more possession, which is rare for us. Shots on target, shots on goals. We're just, just a better team than them. And then we, uh, we had our first loss outside of the big three this season. So... Very poor result. Very worrying before we play our Champions League game. So they go one nil up. And Musabo scores again. Was driving run from the halfway line. Defence parts the sea. Still got to finish it. Show his composure. Slots it in the bottom corner. And I'm thinking from here, we're going to the second half. We go and win the game. Surely. And then come out the second half. Still in the change room, apparently, because they battered us for a bit. And then uh, they got a deserved goal. The ball across. Tap in. Annoyingly, and then we just couldn't get the goal. We had chances. Gomez hit the bar. We had a goal, um, not disallowed, but goal scored opportunities. Geddes had one disallowed right at the start of the game, which is annoying. So, yeah, not ideal. But you can't win every single game. Then we follow that up. Bounce back. How do you bounce back? Saliba header, of course. 2 0 away win before we play our Champions League tie. And there he is, that man. What? Wait, the guy, how many headers has he scored this episode? Is that four? Might even be five. Unbelievable stuff. So we've got a 2 0 win there, a comfortable win. They didn't cause us too much threat. And then, yeah, so scheduling wise, looking forward, we've got the Much and Gladback Champions League tie coming up through in the next episode. So make sure you watch that to see if we can actually get far in the Champions League. But we are still top of the league, which is the important thing. So we'll have a look at the league table now. As you can see, Real Madrid are chasing us. So next time, catch you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay safe. Goodbye. Come on, Valencia.